Hi there, this is okay. David and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3. Last time we started up uh, Chapter 2's free day, so let's go ahead and uh, get everything done that we need to get done. First things first, go into the bathroom for um, more academy points and bonding events and whatnot. Yeah, everybody's doing pretty well. Oh. Reen, you're still young. Is this who I think it is? Yeah, being creepy as anything. No! <laughs> or Reen's sixth sense. Really? Ew, no, gross! Like, this girl has problems! Man! Like, she's supposed to be cute and sweet and all this, but to me, she comes off as a predator. Like, to me, she's just gross. I wonder if we're gonna get to go to Ortis. That'd be kinda nice. Oh, yeah, or a field study. That would work. I'm sure. Nasty ho. Yeah, how do you know that, creepo? Oh, yeah, I guess that is kind of common knowledge. Yeah, he is a celebrity after all. Oh, that's true. That is oddly specific information that you happen to know, Musei. Are you a spy? Are you a member of the Intelligence Division? Just who are you? What's her deal? No kidding after dealing with her. Yeah. Oh. Actually, I like her kimono. I think it's super cute. It matches her outfit and her hair and everything else. It's completely adorable. I love the kimono, but that's about the only good thing I can say about her. <laughs> yeah, her and Ash, actually. Speaking of Ash, I really liked his bonding event last time. If you watched that, it was a really good bonding event. Um, Laura's was incredibly long and kind of odd for a bonding event, considering that there was battles and boss fights and dungeons and whatnot, but... Anyway, go over here, try the Juicy Ham Sandwich, and that will allow you to be able to cook that. I still haven't done any cooking, and I will be doing all cooking off-screen anyway. Next thing, let's talk to Louise. Oh, is she teaching Tatiana how to play? Uh, yeah, I do. Sure. I can't wait to just pound you into the ground, girl. Okay, I showed her who's boss. So now, um, let's actually start on some quests. Let's see where I want to go to. We can just go to over here by the riverside. It's fine, whatever. Um, there's a couple of quests out here that I need to do by the, uh, let's see. Okay, it's over there. Um, let's start off with this girl just kind of hanging out out here. Well, what are you looking for? Yeah, we're here to help. Oh. Sure. What was it? Oh, is she? We just met her! How would you know that? Oh. Um, uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we're looking for a gift box with a ribbon on top. Really? Sir, I don't care. <laughs> like, get to the point. Yeah, where were you yesterday? 
It actually does in this case, since you lost it. Did she have all timers or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Cerberus the guard dog? I don't know if it's really a tracking hound, but sure. I know if I got my dog and I tried to have him track something, it would never work. There'd be no way. <laughs> Kringle would just look at me like I was crazy or something. <laughs> hey! You can't just do a good deed? Oh, yikes. He's just a little boy. Just a little baby. Okay, so now we have the dog with us, so hopefully this will help. So you bought it here at the boutique. Marcus made it. You're an idiot! Do you want me to help you find this stupid thing or not? Come on! Ugh. Oh, okay. Thanks for nothing. Oh. Really? So you could do that and wander around and try to figure out where, um, where you need to go, or you could just look at the map and see the mini-map? Yeah, there's a green exclamation point here, so that's where you have to go. It's pretty much as simple as that. It's Follow the green exclamation points until you finish up this stupid quest. That's pretty much it. Yeah, a box with a ribbon on top? Oh. What is it? Oh! So it's not here. Oh, we'll do our best for this old bat who doesn't want to tell us anything. Here, help me find my box. Where is it? I don't know. Like, come on. How come there's a green exclamation point here? Oh. Okay, so she just kind of went that way. Okay, so go on over here, and there's another green exclamation point right there on the bridge. Who would ever be scared by this dog? It's so cute and so sweet. Oh, hey, hey. That looks like a small box. I've never seen a small box shine like that in my life. Is it a small metal box? It's gotta be that shiny. Oh, he is. He's a good boy. Oh, it's for Frankie. I don't even know who Frankie is, but sure. Okay, don't lose it. Ooh, a red emblem. Sweet. Oh. Well, she's actually a really nice old lady. Although, again, she doesn't tell us anything. Thank her! Screw her! Oh, we actually don't have to pay Jingo or anything. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. We got a red emblem. Ooh, plus 25 strength. Not half bad. Uh, still the evergreen here, though, but who can I give this to? Oh. Maybe that Stronghold Emblem, get rid of that, maybe. Uh, she has some buffs and stuff right there. I'll get rid of this Green Pendulum, give her him the Red Emblem there. Okay, anyway, now there's another quest over at the Mayor's House, which I think, yeah, okay, it's just a straight shot this way. Uh, there you are. Yeah, I am the Broken Watch, right? 
Oh. Of course I have the time. I have nothing but time in this game. Well, Mint and Tita are mechanics. Maybe they can help out. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice watch, I've gotta say. Um, all pocket watches use mechanical parts, Reen? I mean, what did you think he- Oh, I guess he thought he used orbital technology. Okay. I don't think that Schmidt's going to fix your watch. She's kind of a dickhead. Just saying. No, you shouldn't. Oh, okay. Oh, that's right. They, they, they do hang out in the hangar, so let's just uh, head on over there. Oh, it's... Speak of the devil! It's mint! What do you want? Yeah? Oh! Really? EX orbs? Sweet! Uh, sure. Oh. Wonder what else she wants to talk about. Yeah, no kidding. Well, we kind of have to, to, you know, repair the watch and all that kind of stuff, but okay. Hey there. Where's Tita? I thought that Tita was behind this desk. No kidding. Oh, did she? She also seemed incredibly selfish, so it's not really in her character to um, help anybody else make anything. <laughs> That's more in character. Well, there you go. Okay, that thing hanging on the whiteboard in the background, the red goggles, is that the Virtual Boy, or is that just me? It really looks like it. Also, there's one in the foreground of the left-hand corner by the desk. It's like two Virtual Boys sitting there. I never actually bought a Virtual Boy, because I remember seeing the previews in the Nintendo Power and thinking, this thing looks like crap, and also thinking, there's no RPGs on it! Why would I ever buy this thing? And there was plenty of RP- well, not plenty, but a decent amount of RPGs in the Game Boy, and that's all I really cared about. And then after like two or three months, they just quit covering the thing because Nintendo knew nothing but a bomb, you know? Oh, okay, so the EX orbs, um, not only do they increase Valimar's strength, but they increase the Panzer Soldat strength too. Very, very nice. That shouldn't be a problem. Um, sure. We're kind of in the middle of something, but I guess we could do it. Okay. Oh, and we get an HP1 orb, too. So we can, uh, make it install only three EX orbs, but whatever you install them... Like, an HP orb will increase everybody's HP, it's not just Valimar, so that's nice. And by doing it, you will greatly increase the Branch Campus's enhancement rating, which I am all for. So of course, just like taking baths every day and other things, we have to do this every free day. Oh, we're back to the Broken Watch. I thought we were gonna do the battles! Well, I guess we could do one thing at a time. We could do the Broken Watch thing and then come back into the battles. You need three things to fix it. Yeah, what are they? Oh, I don't know what those things are. Oh. So, gear, screw, and grease. Oh, yeah, but not for broken antiques. Oh! 
Oh, okay, so we gotta talk to Tita for the gear. And Pablo has the screw. Oh, yeah, that's right. He does like those trains. And the grease. Okay, in that import store. Got you. Well, I mean, at least she tells us where to go, so it's not that bad. So first things first, let's go to the uh, vegetable garden. And Tita should be around here somewhere. There she is. Yeah, so do you happen to have one? Oh, sweet! She just holds it in her little tool belt there? Okay. Well, wow, that was enormously easy. Next up, let's go to school on the second-hand floor. And, yeah, there's Pablo over her. Hey there. Yep, I most certainly do. Yeah, that's what Mint was saying. You literally... Oh... You, you carry that around with you to band practice? Like, shouldn't that be in your dorm room or something? Oh well, it makes it easier for us just to have it here. <laughs> I guess so. Okay, the next thing is at that import store. So let's head on back over there. Yeah, we're looking for some grease. Well, that should work. Oh, it's made of Calvard. Huh. Well, they did say that he was an Eastern import store, so it makes sense that the stuff that he has is from Calvard, that is the easternmost country in Zemuria. Okay. Oh, we don't get warped back to the hangar? We have to go there manually? That's not a big deal. I most certainly did. Wasn't there an RPG on Virtual Boy? Wasn't it like a Persona game? I think it was the first Persona game ever released in the West. It was something about like Blizzard Jack or something. I, I don't know. I just kind of remembered something about that. I remember reading an article about it. I've never played any Virtual Boy games either. Not an emulation or in real life either. But I feel like there was, maybe it was Shimigami Tensei or something, but I remember seeing something about that. It could have, maybe it wasn't even an RPG, maybe it was a puzzle game, but I want to say it was like, it was SMT related. I guess Professor Smith would know how to prepare these watches. He's old enough that he would have used these in his youth. Oh. He hasn't met Reen, has he? We do our little errands for days on end. Of course he is. Of course he does. Well, no problem. Excuse me. Who's there? Who is this? Wait, <gasps> is this Josette? Who is this? Who is this? Josette! Her brothers! The flight jacket, Dawn and Kyle! Are we not gonna see her hat to get Capua? Like, I need a confirmation here. It is! Oh wow, look at the you! The name's Josette. I'm 
the acting branch manager at a shipping company called Capua Delivery Service. I hear you personally helped out one of our newbies. Thank you so much. See, this is why I do quests in the Trails series. Little things like this. Like the payoff, like this is great. This is just great. Oh. Good for her. Like, she went, f like, she has grown so much um, in the series. She went from being a villain to being an ally to now running her own business and um, bringing her family up out of poverty. Yeah, we learned about that, I want to say in third? I want to say we learned that? It may have been in second chapter, but I kind of think it was in the third that we learned about that. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, I did. Oh, thanks. She's sweet. Estelle hated her. And I never actually used her either because I kind of hated her as a character too, but I'm glad to see her here. She is, uh, she's sweet. Good for her. Okay, one last thing that I want to do. Let's go to the hangar and let's do All these right, EX let's orbs. Begin. So we got the HP orb. Let's create a power orb and a, oh, I can't make a speed orb. Oh, because huh? one is equipped. Tunnel ready. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and who has that? Okay, you have that. Let's get rid of that. And, oh, do you have anything else different? Nightmare Speed Breaker. Oh, okay. Silver R. Let's do that. Stick that over here. And then let's give you something different as well. Maybe break one. What else is there going on here? But this is nine strength. That's not half bad. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Anything different? Uh, let's see. No, nothing good there. Um, yeah, we'll do this break one. And then I'm going to... Okay, we got that all taken care of. Alrighty, let's begin! Okay, See you later. so desize those orbs, and insert the orbs now. Notice how it is increasing everybody's stats. And let's do that Panzer Soldat training too. Sure. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of like defense in general in this game. I'm all about the offense, extra strength, extra speed. Like, that's really where it is. Oh, just damage Valimar a little? Okay. So we're actually controlling um, Yuna and Kurt in this battle, and we are going up against Reem. Now, bring it on! Okay, we well just gotta reduce it's the damage turn. 30%. Seems easy enough. Or if he's holding his sword back like that, you wanna go against his Wide arms open. there. My turn! Get some extra uh let's see. Yeah. You go against the arms as well. There! It's Ooh, we should be gonna finish her pretty soon, actually. I shall go. Okay, he's still holding it back, but it really doesn't matter. Now her support deals damage and inflicts speed down. Very, very nice. Look at that damage. Oh, it's so right. good. My turn. Oh, I wanted another yeah. point so I could use that finisher. It's down. Sweet. Ragnar Impulse. Wow, he still has a yeah. lot of HP. He's still holding that sword back there, though, so... Yeah, he's still going to be attacking those arms. He has other stances. I promise you, he really does. Good job. My turn! Uh... Yeah. Arms. It's my turn! Oh, I got him broken! I go. Even better. Yeah! That was good. Woohoo! 
That was easy because he never changed his stances. <laughs> well, look at that. Yeah, I, I must train. Stats updated. Ooh. Um, other stances that he has is if he's casting spells, also attack his arm. If he's holding his sword in his other hand, then attack his head. But during my practice run, he never changed his stance either. So, yeah. Must be more to learn. Ooh, nice. Okay, so we got that taken care of. And next time, there's even more side quests to do. And we're going to be doing those, and in the end slate today, we're going to be reading the Imperial Chronicle, Issue 3. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.